What's going on YouTube? This is Sehaman back with another Walking Dead figure review. And we're going to be taking a look at two figures today. This is the Walking Dead Series 4 by McFarlane Toys. We're going to be taking a look at Riot Gear Zombie on the left with flip up helmet and knife. And on the right hand side over here, we have Gas Mask Riot Gear Zombie with tearaway face and gas mask. So you can see the packaging is exactly the same as the other figures that we have reviewed so far, which is just Carl Grimes. And there's a picture of um, each of uh, the zombies right there. That's the front of the packaging. So let's look at, let's look at the uh, back of the packaging here. And again, the packaging is the same as on the uh, as the Rick Grimes right there on the back. We got all the figures that complete series four, and you got the exclusive Rick Grimes right there. So that's the back of the packaging. All right, guys. So let's take a closer look at each of the figures. So we're going to take a quick break and take them out of the packaging. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. This is both Riot Gear zombies outside of packaging. One thing about McFarlane figures with with these Walking Dead figures that he's done, the zombie figures are pretty much all great. I love almost all the zombie except for the I think it was series one. I think it was series one. But from then on, all the zombie figures have been great. Really, and these ones here are freaking nice as hell. I love the way these two figures came out. This is a quick little 360 look on both of the uh, zombie figures right here, but we're gonna take a closer detailed look at them, so stay tuned. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is Riot Gear Zombie. This is such a nice figure. Get a close up on that head sculpt right there. Well, actually the mask, you can see right here, it's got a lot of great Detail. I mean, if you guys remember, this was this guy was, I believe, in season three, the first episode, when the zombies were coming out of the prison, when they entered the prison, and uh, these zombies came out that had a riot gear on, and they couldn't obviously get them from the head with their weapons. So they, uh, I think, I don't, I think it was Andrea. No, not Andrea. She wasn't with the group. I forgot what girl it was. I think it was a girl. It might have been Beth. Not too sure, but somebody just shoved a knife right up up their uh, their like jaw area. But if you look at the plastic shield part, you can see all the blood and detail that, that they put into there. It looks really, really nice. The helmet looks great. And uh, the shield part does flip up. So you can see right there, you can, you can make out the zombie face, which is just looks totally, totally gruesome. I think I zoomed in a little bit too much there. Focus. There you go. So you can see right there, he's got a lot of great detail in that face. Very cool. Now, the knife is removable. You can take that right out. And it's got a nice little detail going on there. It's not really a, a, a sharp object here. It is bendable. But it's, he's got a little opening right there in the lower part of the jaw. And you just slide that sucker right in. And it looks, it looks to me, it looks really, really cool. I love the way this came out. The head sculpt looks nice. That face looks just gruesome. Got a lot of gore in it. Very cool. You can make out the blue eyes too. It looks really, really good. And you can bring that shield down. It's really crazy. Um, but you might be able to buy a few of these to make your own like Riot Gear uh, army builder right there. Uh, zombies. Now, the the outfit itself looks very good as well. I love the way the paint looks on this guy. It gave him almost kind of like a wet looking um, uh, uh, paint job on him. Right there you can see all the detail that he has on the uh, the gear that he's got set up. All the little elbow pads and just great detail the shoulder padding everything just looks really cool the gloves got a lot of detail he's just got a lot of great detail going throughout um, the outfit and here's a lower look at the body the boots this guy is just fully geared up bottom he does have peg holes so that's uh this one here is a riot gear zombie now he doesn't come with any accessories other than that knife that you can remove and the head or the mask right there can flip up. Very, very cool figure right here. This one is just really, really nice. Love the way this one looks. Now, let's take a look over here at the gas mask right gear zombie. Now, this one is a cool guy as well, or cool figure as well. See, the cool thing is I have the mask on this figure. You can take the mask off. Now, the, the, the plastic part or the glass part right here, if you can see that, it's got a lot of little green stuff on there probably some I don't know ooze or something and then you can see here is a little piece of the mask right here right there cool detail you can see the uh, head sculpt he's like rotting away all the little flesh parts and all that the mask the little uh, eye, eye piece right here does come off 
So you can see right there, you can see his eyes are pretty much just like gone, like rotted away. But the face mask does come off. So when you take this face mask off, it goes in pretty easy as well. Look at the inside of that. A lot of blood because his face is still on there. You can see that right there. The face is still in the mask. And you got the skull right there with all like little flesh and stuff, which looks really cool. You can see he's got one eye. Very, very gruesome looking figures. I mean, look at the teeth. You can just see the skull under there. Very cool. And the outfit, like I said, he's got like this little like green ooze going throughout there. I don't know if it's like, could be vomit, blood. It could be a lot of things. Now, the uh, riot gear looks to be about the same as uh, bo uh, as both of them. They look to, to have the same uh, outfit. God, they got, but they both have blood throughout the outfit. But it looks to be the same overall. Yeah, it looks to be the same exact outfit. Now, actually, the back is a little different on the padding. You can see that right there. I guess they have their slight differences. But both are great figures, guys. Now, I love the way the outfits are on these zombies. These, these zombies are very, very cool. Probably one of my favorite zombies that we've gotten so far. Um, articulation is going to be the same on both figures. The head can go up and down. It can rotate. Arms go uh, in and out. Yeah, the head can rotate. It's got a little bit of a waist articulation right there. Ab crunch is pretty good range of motion. Legs slightly go in and out. Got rotation in them. They don't really go forward and back. It's got a bend at the knee. Lower leg rotation. The foot can go up and down. You rotate it side to side. You can also tilt it. Hands, I said, already go in and out. Forward and back. Bend at the bicep. Rotation in the arm. And the wrists can rotate. And they don't go in and out, though. Now, this guy's going to have the same range of articulation, even though he has that knife there. Same exact uh, articulation right there on both of the figures. All right, guys, and there you have it. Today, we're taking a look at two figures from the Series 4 of the Walking Dead um, TV series by McFarlane Toys. We're taking a look at on the, on the left, Riot Gear Zombie. On the right, Gas Mask Riot Gear Zombie. Both are great figures. Definitely worth checking out. They got a lot of great detail. The outfits look great. The paint, um, everything about these figures are beautiful. I love the way these figures came out. They're very gruesome. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you guys thought about these figures. If you guys are going to pick them up, let me know what you guys think about the series overall on McFarlane Toys. Alright guys, this is Sehaman. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, see you guys later.